the commencement ceremony for the departments of anthropology plus sociology, biology, marine biology, environmental science, chemistry and physics, mathematics, politics and international relations, psychology and public health in the Fine Time School of Social and Natural Sciences is beginning. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a distinct pleasure to welcome all of you in person to the inaugural commencement ceremony for the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences. My name is Ben Greenstein, I'm the Dean, and I will emcee the proceedings this afternoon. As you may imagine, putting together a single university commencement followed by eight individual school ceremonies involved the hard work of staff from virtually all the units of the university. Specifically, I'd like to thank members of the RDU, RW event staff, administrative staff and academic affairs, and members of the registrar's office for their hard work. Most especially, I'd like to thank the members of the student's uh, school commencement committee. The committee was composed of student representatives from the departments in the, social, in the School of Social and Natural Sciences. Rachel Barrows, Sydney Duquette, Cassandra Feria, Kate Gilbert, Caitlin Kelsey, Colby Peters, Roxana Rogers, Elizabeth Sanford, and Emma Ivanovich. who all proceeded to provide guidance to me as we refined this afternoon's proceedings. Our meetings early on Tuesday mornings were honestly, honestly, the highlight of my day. Thanks also to SSNS Administrative Assistant Kelly Meyer. <laughs> Kelly staffed the committee and kept me on task and in fact opened these proceedings so they would not literally have occurred had Kelly not been here to help. A very important group that made this celebration possible consists of the families of the students that we honor today. Especially, especially during these last four years, the myriad ways in which our students have been supported by you have been invaluable. Thank you parents, grandparents, siblings, extended family members for allowing the faculty and I the privilege of educating the class of 2022. Students, I invite you to stand if you are able turn and thank members of your family who may be present. It always has been my honor and my privilege to be the Dean of the Faculty in the School of Social and Natural Sciences. It has further been a humbling experience these last four years as I witnessed this faculty's dedication to the students as manifested by their incredible efforts to engage new technologies and strategies to foster teaching and learning all while genuinely and actively caring for each and every one of you both academically and your well-being beyond the classroom. I ask students again to rise and thank your faculty. They're seated directly behind you and thank them for their efforts. I would now like to ask Senior Associate Dean Dr. Becky Spritz to come forward for the presentation of the President's Core Values Medallions. Thank you, Dean Greenstein. The President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. It is an honor to announce the Core Values Medallion recipients for the class of 2022. Kate Gilbert. Yeah. 
Not yet, Kate. You don't get off that easily. Kate is a biochemistry and applied mathematics major whose accomplishments exemplify Roger Williams' values of academic success through experiential, engaged, and innovative learning in and out of the classroom. In her time at Roger Williams, Kate has demonstrated the ability to bridge complex theories in her fields of study in a myriad of ways. As a result of her dedicated research with faculty and fellow students and her awards in competitive summer research programs, Kate is a co-author on publications in esteemed professional journals, has presented at national conferences, and completed a senior honors thesis. It is Kate's generosity of spirit in the Roger Williams community, however, which sets her apart as a core medallion recipient. As the president of the RWU Science Alliance Club, Kate has been a leader in organizing events, developing alumni networks, and creating a supportive community of student scholars. She has served as one of the most dedicated and sought out tutors in our campus tutoring center. As an officer in the Hispanic and Latinx Student Association, she has collaborated to create a more inclusive Roger Williams community, which celebrates culture and diversity. And if that were not enough, Kate's leadership extends into the world of performance, serving as the pres president of the Hawkettes dance team, planning logistics for the team's practices, showcases, and national competitions. We have been privileged to have Kate as a member of the RWU community, and we are so happy to award her this honor. Samuel Avila. Our second core medallion recipient is Samuel Avila. Sam embodies the president's core values as an exemplary student, leader, researcher, and social justice advocate. And like our first recipient, he has exhibited these values both inside and outside of RWU. Sam is a public health and political science double major, who in his own words, became enamored with the concept of health policy and what policies lawmakers can put in place to protect the communities they represent. Sam served to enhance our RWU community in his service as an intercultural leadership ambassador, a writing tutor, an orientation advisor, and a resident assistant, and as the RWU student body president. Outside of RWU, he served as a legislative intern for Senator Cynthia Mendez, an intern for the National Hispanic Medical Association, and a trainee at the Department of Housing and Urban Development in Washington, DC. His senior thesis compares political responses to the HIV and COVID-19 pandemics. And as noted by his recommenders, Sam's diligence, high standards of personal responsibility, academic abilities compiled with his initiative, curiosity, and drive clearly demonstrate his merit for this award. Thus, I am pleased to award this core medallion to Samuel Avila. Jason Regan. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, our final core medallion recipient is Jay Regan. A member of the University Honors Program, Jay is a political science major with a minor in global communications. And, with our, and as with our other medallion recipients, Jay's profound impact has been experienced both on and off campus. Jay has served as the chairman of the university's prestigious presidential student ambassadors, the vice president of the College Democrats, and a, excuse me, <laughs> and a student senate cabinet member on the elections committee. But notably, Jay has been a member of both the College Democrats and the College Republicans.
and he played a central role in cultivating and coordinating the relationship between the two at a time when they had one of the worst relationships in their history. As someone who embodies what it means to be a true citizen, in his home community, he's involved in government voting. He co-chaired a local school campaign toward an astounding upset uh, in a victory over a better funded incumbent. One of his recommenders notes, highly politically conscious, Jay strives to bridge the partisan divide to come to a more productive and inclusive dialogue. Indeed, one of Jay's recommenders, a highly accomplished student in her own right, credits much of her own success to his support and considers themselves a better person for their friendship. I know we can all agree that we need more individuals like Jay in our world today. It is therefore with great pleasure that I award this core medallion to Jason Regan. These students have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular activities throughout their four years. Congratulations to our recipients and their families, friends, and faculty. Thank you. This year's graduating class indicated their preference to hear from a member of the faculty as they prepare for their lives beyond our campus. Since she began teaching at RWU in 2013, Professor Annika Hagley has established herself as an extraordinary educator. An overarching theme arising from her students is that Professor Hagley's classes are transformational. Students appreciate that they are challenged to reflect deeply about important issues in Professor Hagley's classes. They further value the respectful way in which she engages them and the genuine care and support that Professor Hagley supplies. One student comment is particularly succinct, quote, the professor is awesome. <laughs> And additional students clearly agree, as Professor Hagley has twice been awarded Professor of the Semester in the school. Professor Hagley's current scholarship investigates how our society continues to resolve the tragedy of 9-11 through the lens of popular culture, political rhetoric, and decision-making in Congress. In her 2021 book, Reborn of Crisis, 9-11 and the Resurgent Superhero, Professor Hagley describes the proliferation of the superhero film genre after 9-11 and explores the way the film show allow American society to process the trauma from the attacks through a variety of culture and political lenses. It's my pleasure to call Dr. Annika Hagley, Associate Professor of Politics and International Relations, to the podium. Thank you, Dean Greenstein. That was quite the introduction. Um, hello, babies. Um, <laughs> what a few years. Um, I know that you are sick to death of talking about COVID, um, and I don't blame you. So I'm going to do what any good academic would do and skirt around the issue. Um, <laughs> in the time you have attended this school, so much has happened, so much has changed, and so many people have become versions of themselves that they never knew existed. As my colleagues and some of my students know, I found out I was pregnant with my first child in March of 2020 during spring break. In between Zoom classes, I watched the test lines turn pink, panicked, <laughs> then proceeded to teach while sometimes having to turn off the camera so I could vomit into a nearby trash can. <laughs> I got COVID the week the baby was due, and with his COVID-stricken father banned from the delivery room and all the breathing and birth classes you usually do canceled in the months before, I completely freaked out, got it together, and somehow brought Bo, my little Roger Williams graduate of 2040, into the world. <laughs> Go Hawks. <laughs> Two days later, as the nation's capital burned, I called the nursing station and asked if what I was seeing on TV was real or was I just really high from the pain meds. <laughs> And if that wasn't a perfect metaphor for what we were all going through one way or another, I don't know what is. <laughs> a friend once said to me that when you become a parent, it connects you with all the other people in the world. 
You look out for each other's babies. You hope that they're happy and kind to each other. You try and make your kid one of the ones that will be a force for good in the world. You see every person as somebody's baby and your capacity for love grows. I now understand what went into each and every one of you to get you to this point. I know how many times your parents and caregivers felt lost, tired, and out of their depth, and how many times they kept going despite this, to get you mobile so you could walk across this stage. How many times they sounded out words on cards so you could read all the assigned material in the syllabus. How many times they patiently had you copy letters onto a piece of paper so you could craft those famous single-spaced essays I like to assign. <laughs> the list goes on. I know how many times they have read you the same bloody book over and over again, and how many times they pretended they couldn't see you in a game of hide-and-seek. <laughs> Babies are really bad hiders. <laughs> they just wanted to see you laugh. I know how they've held you, cried for you, been so proud of you they could burst, helped you grow, feared for you, and sent you out into this campus anyway. Parents and caregivers, handing off your babies to us is a great act of trust, particularly in the last few years when things have been so hard, so exhausting, and have required so much good faith and acceptance of situations beyond our control. It's a responsibility that none of us took lightly, and we're honored by your trust. Students, you have been a generation that has faced something beyond the realms of our imaginations. You came here four years ago with interests and personalities and subjects and extracurriculars and ideas and energy. You were welcomed by this community with the promise of developing all those things. You did that and then some. We asked you for trust and faith and we took you into the unknown. You came with us. Sometimes you led us and at every turn you broke the mold. You have been selfless, courageous, and steadfast. You have been indignant and angry in the face of injustices. You have been funny and kind. You have turned towards each other and developed bonds that will always be with you. And you have pushed us to be better every day in the last four years. I have never cried as much as I have in the last four years, mostly from sleep deprivation. <laughs> I have never been prouder more raw, more worried about my students, and more impressed by them than I have in the last four years. I have laughed harder in classes and felt the privilege of my passing influence in young people's lives more than I ever have in my whole teaching career as the months pass by and each one of you revealed another wonderful layer of who you are. You are unique graduates, our athletes, scholars, artists, dancers, scientists, mathematicians, politicians, our kind-hearted ones, our cynical ones, our funny ones, our grumpy ones. <laughs> our introverts and our extroverts. Our ones that come to class faithfully on a Friday morning after drinking too much the night before. <laughs> our ones that stay in bed. <laughs> our ones with terrible hangovers right now wondering how they're gonna make it through the next hour. <laughs> Above all, you have been a graduating class marked by the choice to love. At a time when the structures of power all around you chose conflict over leadership, you chose patience and humor. You chose to keep going, to pick each other up day after day in your fear and exhaustion, in your determination and your hope. That is what makes you the class of 2022. Not COVID, not grades, not the things that people usually care about, but the uniqueness the resilience, the good-heartedness, the brilliant funniness of all of you. The ways in which you've looked out for your Roger Williams siblings and the ways in which you've helped your Roger Williams family through the last four years is who you are. The love you've shown each other, your professors, the administration, and everyone around you is your greatest strength. We are the proudest family. And like your parents and caregivers, we're kicking you out of the nest with love with the love you have shown us returned in full. Big, huge, unashamed, spoken, expressed love. Roger Williams University class of 2022, you have been magnificent. <laughs> you have been magnificent and you have been loved. Thank you.
awesome, indeed. Thank you, Professor Hager. All right, it's time to do what we're here to do. Here's what everybody's here for. Candidates for the bachelor's degree wear a hood signifying their graduation, the degree and permanent connection to Roger Williams University community. These hoods bear the RWU colors of white and light blue. Candidates for master's degrees today will be hooded by a member of the school faculty, our director of the uh, psychology graduate program, as they process for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees is a centuries old practice and signifies student achievements in their chosen field of study. Master students' hoods include a wide velvet band and a color denoting their academic area in which the degree is held. Before I call students to the stage, I'd like to acknowledge those students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all students graduating come loudly with a cumulative grade point average of 3.4, please stand if you are able. Cum laude. Okay. Will all students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.6 please stand? All right. Finally, will students graduating summa cum laude, grade point average of 3.8. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended and we are proud of all of your accomplishments. We will now begin the conferral of degrees. Individual degree recipients will be recognized on stage after I have conferred the degrees on all of the candidates. Students will be asked to come forward to the platform by program. So, will all candidates for degrees in the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences please rise if you are able. All of you, stand up. <laughs> I'm pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto those of you that are in the seated area please seat candidates for the degree of master of arts in forensic mental health counseling and candidates for the degree of masters of arts in forensic and legal psychology come forward to the foot of the stairs at stage left. I ask Professor Judith Platania, coordinator of the graduate program in psychology and chair of the Department of Psychology, to come to the podium to, uh, excuse me, to assist in hooding the candidates. Jocelyn Malave. Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Maura M. Logan, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Samantha Marion Sitarik, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Madeline Ann Kalmeyer, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Deandra Ligori, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Kaya Reed. Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Haley Lauren Nobilo, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Emma Brozier, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling.
Michaela Kelmer, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Caitlin Elizabeth Doyen, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Diana Mary Inkova, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Sarah Renee Nadeau, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Kaylee Kowalski, Master of Arts, Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Carly Marie Rice, Master of Arts, Forensic and Legal Psychology. Silvana Nakataro, Master of Arts, Forensic and Legal Psychology. Alyssa Lee Freeman, Master of Arts, Forensic and Legal Psychology. And Alyssa, before you go away, I just want to mention that Alyssa was one of the awarders of the uh, poster award in uh, the graduate reception in April uh, for her poster on sleep disorders and mental health symptoms among incarcerated adolescents. Julia Grace Wheeler, Master of Arts, Forensic and Legal Psychology. And, and Julia can't go away either because she was co-author on the poster, uh, again, Sleep Disorders and Mental Health Symptoms Amongst Incarcerated Adolescents. Congratulations. <laughs> Keely Marie Burns, Master of Arts, Forensic and Legal Psychology. Thank you. Congratulations to all of the master's students. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor's of Arts in Anthropology plus Sociology come forward to the foot of the stairs at stage left? I ask Professor Jason Patch, Chair of the Department of Anthropology plus Sociology, to come to the podium. Palmer, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology, cum laude. <laughs> Riley Margaret Veter, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology, magna cum laude. <laughs> Elizabeth Teresa Sender. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology and Political Science, cum laude. <laughs> Rachel Louise Barros, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology and Criminal Justice, cum laude. <laughs> Natalie Imperat Imperatrice Delgado, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology, magna cum laude. Gwenlyn E. Kinder, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology, cum laude. <laughs> Raquel Monet Blanchett, Woo! Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Anthropology plus Sociology, summa cum laude, thesis with distinction. <laughs> Jack William Burgess, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology plus Sociology. Congratulations. 
Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Biology, Marine Biology, Environmental Science, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, and an individualized major in Biological Photography please come to the foot of the platform. I ask Professor Brian Weiser, Chair of the Department, to come to the podium. Richard Padovich, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Thank you. Thank you. Hannah Jordan Sterling, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Sydney A. Duquette, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. Megan Bell Goldschneider, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Sure. Olivia Amaral White, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Patrick Davis Griffin, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Megan E. Marchionda, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. <laughs> Juliet A. Whitwer, Bachelor of Arts, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, Visual Arts. <laughs> Bell Cruz, Bachelor of Science, Biology and Chemistry. Cole Stephen Palmer, Woo! Bachelor of Science, Biology. Oh. Cole John Sheely, Bachelor of Science, <laughs> Marine Biology. <laughs> Sophia Matola, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. <laughs> Lindsay A. Dreher. Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Kelsey Marie Wells, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude. Leah Marie Nosella, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Stephen Patrick McCormick Curran, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Lucas Daniel Fink, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Benjamin Ingersoll Spellman, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Jordan Elizabeth Murray, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Emma Grace Trisiani, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Emily E. Dalton, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. <laughs> Carolyn Therese Davidson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Christina Sky Galt Lincourt, Bachelor <laughs> of Science, Biology. <laughs> Abigail Kamir, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. <laughs> Cassandra Ramirez, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Meg M. Amato, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Kelly Lynn Roper, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology.
Ashley Marie Charlnick, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology and Aquaculture and Aquarium Science. Colby Carrington Peters, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Aaron James Langmuir, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Colin Jeffrey Glasser, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, and Aquaculture and Aquarium Science. Benjamin Otis Allen, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, Magna Cum Laude. Charles Frederick Hyder V, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science. Ethan Chad Raposa, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Lani Laney, Laney, Mary, Pizzatola, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology, Cum Laude. Sydney Lynn Gross, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Kristen Ann Savasano, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Alexia Brooke Wagner, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Cum Laude. Yeah. Philip John Keelan, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, and Public Health. Benjamin Cummings Donaldson, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Cum Laude. Hunter Charles Procaccini, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Daniel Stewart Long, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science. Matthew Christopher Kowalczyk, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Henry Phoenix Fowler, Bachelor of Arts, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, an individualized major in photojournalism. Emma Elizabeth Ivanovich, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Victoria Ashley Colon, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Shira Maria Strock, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Environmental Science, Summa Cum Laude. Victoria Teresa Renzini, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Madison Ann Fox, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Joshua Ari Simmons, Bachelor of Science, Biology, and Public Health. Brianna DePaolo, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Michaela Brooke Patterson, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Callie Jennifer Warnham, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Catherine Lothrop, Bachelor of Arts, Individualized Major in Biological Photography. Isaac Thompson Pava, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Paul Emil Schnadig, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Stephen Louis Zakari, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Jenna Rose Kingway Dixon, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Alexa Ann Larson, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology and Environmental Science. Michael Grafton Briggs, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Alexia Lee DeRochers, 
Bachelor of Science, Biology, summa cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Thompson Cameron, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Environmental Chemistry, magna cum laude. Samantha M. Terrell, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Caitlin Jane Flood, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Lorianne Laguerre, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Lillian Joy Pappas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Cassandra Elaine Feria, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Public Health, summa cum laude. Nicole Quinlan, Bachelor of Science, Biology, magna cum laude. Anne Elizabeth Apersold, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Eliana Luisa Trevino, Bachelor of Science, Biology and Psychology. Michaela Ann DeCesar, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Julia C. Dwyer, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology and Chemistry, summa cum laude. Morgan Ashley Tunnel, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Carly Elizabeth Opalka, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science. Danielle Marie Anastasia, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Kelly Rose Yadoff, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Morgan Lee McCuchin, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. <laughs> Ashley Rochelle Patricio, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. <laughs> Hunter Goodrow, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Carolyn Elizabeth Sullivan, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily Rose Marshall, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Congratulations. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, or Bachelor of Science in Chemistry and Pharmacy please come to the left of the podium. I call Professor Lauren Rossi, Chair of the Department, to the podium. Kate Elizabeth Gilbert, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry and Applied Mathematics, summa cum laude. Elise Elizabeth Pepinella, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, magna cum laude. Michael Joseph Leon, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Devlin Thomas Welch, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Cum Laude. Emma Catherine Gilmet, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry and Pharmacy, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Rose Sanford, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Marion Therese Olson, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Biology, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics or Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics come forward to the foot of the stairs at stage left? 
I ask Professor Yajni Warnapala, Chair of the Department of Mathematics, to come to the podium. We have anybody? Hello? Where are your graduates? They're on the list? All right. Apparently there's a strike in math. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay. Um, Political science. Will the candidates with the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Political Science or International Relations come to forward to the foot of the stairs? Right over here. I ask Professor June Speakman of the Department of Politics and International Relations to come to the podium. Jason R. Regan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Olivia Sarah Wenerod, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Patrick Ewald Grimes, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Joshua Aaron Tillis, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Grabowski, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Elias Copeland, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations, Foreign Language. John William Glenn, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science and Economics. Liam Thomas Nugent, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Alexander George Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations and History, Magna Cum Laude. Michaela Marie Apt, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations and Foreign Language, Cum Laude. Arden Height, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations, Cum Laude. <laughs> Roxanne El Isabella Rogers, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations and Foreign Language, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Madeline Kathleen Leahy, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. <laughs> Gata J. M. H. H. Bolin, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Silence. Dalton A. Souza, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Teal Banker Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Carter Armstrong, Sophia Stout, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Brandon Daniel Menjiver, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. <laughs> Julia Adeline Ngotti, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, and Political Science. Brooke Sullivan Petrangelo, Petrange Petrange Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Cum Laude. Eben T. Kisau, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Economics, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Margaret Connolly McKinnon, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Communication and Media Studies, Magna Cum Laude. Congratulations. Sam. 
Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Psychology come forward to the foot of the stairs and stay there? I ask Professor Aaron Tooley, incoming chair of the Department of Psychology, to come to the podium. Yep. Christina Giovannina Garcia, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Olivia Lynn Gagliardo, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Ruby LaPierre, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Victoria Ann Furtado, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Hannah Graham, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Isabel Marie Antonitis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Elise Marie Antonino, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Skylar Flavin, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emery Vegan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Dance, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander Robert Johnson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Catherine Hope Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Taylor Alexa. Zimajewski, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Cultural Studies, Summa Cum Laude. Maxine Marie Michaels, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Brianna Lynn Bailey, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Amelia Anna O'Brien, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Augusto Luis Gardel, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Are you okay? Ellie R. Kuoka, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Educational Studies. Nathaniel R. Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emma Rose Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Ciara Kira McDonough, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Gianna Ann Beccio, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Beccio. Thank you. <laughs> Samantha Taylor Jost, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Yes, 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 yes. Zane Propatier, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Mackenzie Jane Maitland, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Alyssa Christina Doherty, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Hazy Lini Mejia, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jillian Sheehan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Armani Allen Dotson, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Yeah. 
Victoria Ann Beckwith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emma Phipps, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Sophie Ray Gamash, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Cleopatra Giorgia. Cleopatra, tell me. Georgiatis. Georgiatis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Cody Orgetas, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Kathleen Hennigan Clevenger, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Kelly Rose Kendall, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Philosophy. Madeline Claire Green, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. James Robert Richardson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Andrew D. Pasquale. Andrew D. Pasquale, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Martino Luis Putz. Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Nicholas J. Annabelle, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Rachel E. Brown, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Michael Donovan Parkinson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily Ann Hewitt, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Samantha Lee L'Esperance, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Visual Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Hannah R. Weiss, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. James Brigham Fleming, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Vanessa Doris Surridge, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Samantha Rose Daigle, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Alexis Lee Arcangelo, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Evan Matthew Mansfield, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Lily Victoria Albert, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Criminal Justice, Summa Cum Laude. Colin James O'Leary, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emma Catherine Peterson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Madison J. Holland, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude, congratulations. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Public Health please come forward to the foot of the stairs? I ask Professor Jacqueline Cottle, Chair of the Department of Public Health, to come to the podium. Samuel Avila, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Eileen Lane, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. <laughs> Ellie Frankie Field, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 
Meredith Kate Naylor, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Magna Cum Laude. Taylor Ingrid Levine, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Cum Laude. Natalie Chasey, Chassie, Chassie, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Chase Alexander Waxman, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Kyle Davidson Stewart, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Emma Kate Barden, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Benjamin Christopher Ortel, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Faithlin Miata Norman, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Sydney May Kroll, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Cum Laude. Hannah, Hannah Victoria Hendricks, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Ashley Hutchinson, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Summa Cum Laude. Andrea Claire Edwards, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Summa Cum Laude. Congratulations to all of the graduates. All right, do we miss anybody? Good. We have uh, two faculty members uh, of the school who have chosen to retire, so I want to spend just a few minutes to honor each of them. Uh, first, I'd like to call uh, Professor Aaron Tooley to the stand, uh, to the podium first, to uh, begin our... I know, she's not retiring. She's not retiring. She's going to help me to honor somebody that is. Come on, come on, come on. I will keep this brief because we have some celebrating to do, but on behalf of the psychology department, I would like to present Dr. Judith Platania with a plaque. <laughs> Commemorating her service above and beyond the call of duty to all of her students, her colleagues, the department, and the university. Professor Judith Platania, you are an exemplar of the teacher-scholar model for undergraduate and graduate education at Roger Williams University. In the 17 years you have served on the faculty of the Department of Psychology, you have connected research and practice and allowed students to conceptualize real-world issues in terms of why rather than what. Students readily accept the challenges you should present to them in your classes and often, in hindsight, appreciate the rigor of your approach. As a student in research methods last fall put it, Dr. P could be a bit intimidating, but I feel really lucky to have taken this course with her because I feel like I'm coming out of this feeling academically stimulated and invigorated in terms of my passion for research. You have maintained an active and productive research programming pu program, publishing 22 peer-reviewed papers in collaboration with department colleagues, graduate and undergraduate students. You and student co-authors have given twice that number of oral and twice that number of poster presentations at national and international conferences and established Roger Williams University as a leader in the field of forensic and legal psychology. 
Your departmental colleagues recognize you as the galvanizing force behind the psychology program at RWU. With greater than 260 undergraduate majors, psychology is the largest major in the School of Social and Natural Sciences. Your administrative leadership as department chair these last three years and concurrently as coordinator of the graduate program this past year has been remarkable. Professor Platini, your extraordinary passion for your discipline, students, and colleagues is inspiring. It's been set the stage for a very bright programmatic future. In recognition of your achievements and service to the university, and by action of the Board of Trustees, it is my distinct pleasure to award you the rank of Professor Psychology Emeritus. We will find it difficult to fill the space you leave behind. Although she is unable to join us this afternoon, I wish also to recognize another member of the School of Social and Natural Sciences faculty, Professor Roxana Smolowitz, DVM, who's retiring this year after holding appointments since 2009 at Roger Williams University. Professor Smolowitz has taught in the Department of Biology, Marine Biology, and Environmental Science and serves the Public Health Program. As a nationally recognized expert in bivalve anatomy and diseases, Professor Smolowitz established the Aquatic Diagnostic Laboratory in the Center for Economic and Environmental Development and has served as its director since its inception. The laboratory is unique in the region and Professor Smolowitz's leadership quite literally put the Center for Environmental and Economic Development on the map as a provider of molecular and histopathological services to the aquaculture community, generating revenue in excess of $100,000 per year. These funds are used to support two full-time technicians and provide research opportunities for RWU students, many of whom are women. In addition to her duties running the ADL and teaching, Professor Smolowitz has been awarded 19 grants published 30 peer-reviewed papers, and written nine book chapters since her appointment as assistant professor in 2014. Accordingly, hers has been an appreciable presence in the Marine and Natural Sciences Building and beyond. In recognition of her remarkable accomplishments and contributions and by action of the Board of Trustees, it is my distinct pleasure to award Roxana Smolowitz honorary retiree status from the university. As dean, I have been and continue to be a tireless messenger for the value and relevancy of a student-centered experiential education that provides connections between the college learning experience and the world beyond campus. Graduates, the four years that have elapsed since you arrived have provided an exceptional and expanded opportunity for just that education. You have cared for each other, trusted each other, and learned not to take anything for granted. These attributes are devoutly to be wished for in any global citizen, perhaps most especially now. You have the tools to impact society in meaningful ways. All of us at Roger Williams University look forward to learning of the ways you have done so. Keep in touch. On behalf of the university, thank you for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have exited the tent. I invite everyone to remain after the recessional to stand out in the sun and visit with us for a little while. Uh, we'll now begin the uh, recessional. Cue the music. Yeah.